How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video, I have this for you. If we just look at the sender of this package, it's Certified Collectibles Group, also known as CGC. Um, this is not my big return that I send in of like 25 cards, well, actually 30 cards. No, this is my reholder return, because they recently updated their labels and also bumped up the 9.5s to 10s. And I sent in a bunch of 9.5s and also one pristine 10. So we're also going to see that new pristine 10 logo, which is going to look amazing. Before we start, though, I wanted to thank everyone for subscribing. I've hit 400 subscribers. That's amazing. Never thought I'd ever reach that number. Um, as with the other milestones that I've hit, I wanted to do a giveaway. So in this video, I'm giving away this Professor Burnett from VMAX Climax. Um, giveaway is worldwide. Um, all you have to do to win is like the video, be subscribed, and just let me know your favorite graded card that we are going to pull out of here. Just write it in a comment below and then I'll pick a winner one week after the video has been published. Alright, so let's cut this package open, I suppose. This actually um, went really smoothly, you know, my first submission with CGC Germany, specifically. Um, didn't go as well um, as I thought. This one, though, definitely way better. Also, that is a different packaging from what they originally used. Um, still pretty nice. So let me just cut this open. So I submitted this on... Let me just check. Hang on. So I sent this in on July 13th. Well, actually, July 14th is when I brought it to the post office. Um, it got there on... July 15th, and was actually entered into the system as soon as it reached CGC Germany, which was nice. Last time I had to wait like 12 to 14 days until it actually reached the, the US, the US office, before it was entered into the system. They seem to have fixed that because the second order that I sent in my, my like, um, 30 cards that are to be just normally graded, not like reholdering, um, those also were entered like one day after being delivered into the system, which is really nice. Um, they stayed in the US for a little over a month and were delivered to... Well, they first were delivered back to the um, Germany office. I actually got a tracking number this time around. Last time I didn't get one. That tracking number, though, is for, for delivery at the Munich office. So that's not one for me, because they used Intex, that's what that that um, bag was for Germany shippings. But here we go, and I can already tell these are the new labels. Let's turn them around this way. And yeah, and this got um, delivered, in fact, just three days ago, which is really nice. So it actually, it actually ended up being really, really quick. Quicker than I thought it was going to be. Okay. So here we go, some new labels, and some, well, I guess there are new cases as well, eh? So, let me just take the, the rubber bands off, and then we'll, we'll look at them one by one. Um, there is no real secret here for the grade, since I already know them, so I'm not gonna bother hiding them and looking at them. You know, they are just regraded. Or reholdered, so I'll just, you know, flip them around like this. And here is the new labels. So this is an Elaser Sparkle from Fusion Arts. Um, as I've said, though, these were all um, 9.5s before sending them in. And they recently, as I've said, updated their, their label and bumped the 9.5s to 10s. And then the Pristine 10 is now the highest thing you can get. From CGC, no more perfect tense, which I'm kind of sad about. But let's look at this label up close, okay. So, one thing immediately that I don't like is that the barcode and the the cert number are on the front. I liked it much more when they were on the back. Because the back kind of looks empty now, in my opinion. It, 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 it looks pretty empty. Um, I do have to say, though, I kind of like the labels. I know a lot of people hate them. And while I do think the older blue labels are still pretty sick, I'm I'm okay with these, honestly. It's not like I hate them. So I'm I'm okay with these. So this is the first one. We'll see when we find the Charizard. You know, that actually got back recently. I sent that in immediately afterwards. But here we go. Here's the second one. It's the Rayquaza VMAX from um, VMAX Climax. Featuring, of course, Cynia down here as well. 
Um, I have multiple copies of this card. I have an English copy. I have a um, what should I call it? I have a Japanese copy in my in my binder. So this is actually really really amazing. Nice. We've got the we've got the Rayquaza back. Um, there should also be a Charizard V Max in here from Shiny Star V. Um, here is another one. This one um, actually was with subgrades. This one had subgrades of 9.5s throughout the board. So every single subcategory was a 9.5. Now it did get bumped up to a to a 10. There seems to be some residue. Having a hard time. You see that looks almost like a scratch, but I think it's just some residue. Maybe some isopropyl alcohol will clean that off. But yeah, nothing nothing much to say about these. Once again, just reholders. The greats really aren't a surprise. Okay, here we go. You can already already tell that this is the the golden one. Right off the bat, when you look at the back of the of the um, label, don't know if I like that because with the old ones, if you just looked at the back, you wouldn't be able to tell if it was a perfect ten. But now, if you just see the back, you immediately know. Um, this is no surprise. Because this was a pristine 10 when it got back. Okay, so let's look at this label really, really closely. Man, okay, so the 10 appears to be embossed, actually. Like, it actually is raised from, from the rest of the label. That I actually quite like. I actually quite like that. Hang on, let me get an let me get an older slab. Okay, so here's an older slab also from my from my other return. Um, just compare the two. It doesn't matter if Perfect 10 or Pristine 10, because Pristine 10 also had the, the golden number in it with the old labels. Just compare these two and let me know which one, just from the label, don't don't look at the grade too much, just from the label, which one do you like better? Honestly, the M embossed 10. I actually quite like. I still don't like the fact that they did away with the with the perfect tens. But this is actually this is actually really really nice. I feel like they should have kept the perfect tens and made them like with the with the embossing as well, but you know, you can't have everything. So this is really nice. Let's put him let's put him over here. A pristine 10 this is the only pristine 10 in here. We'll see where the other Charizard is. Um here we have a Leon from Amazing Vault Tackle. This is really, really nice. Most of these 9.5s I actually picked up, you know, just as is. Didn't grade them myself, of course. And they were actually pretty cheap when I picked them up. Because I picked them up like ages ago, and then once once CGC announced that they're like re reshuffling their grading scale or whatever and redoing their, their labels, they picked up a lot. And here it is. Okay, this one is actually fire. Holy moly, dude, this in a pristine 10 would look perfectly fine or perfect. Jesus, okay. You know, this actually, now that I look at it a bit more, the black labels actually fit like the um, the Charizards, the shiny Charizards, pretty good. Um, I also sent in the Charizard GX, but that one was like very, very off-centered. Um, if that get gets back as minimum a 9.5, I would be happy with it. Because then I have a Pristine 10, a Gemmin 10, and a Mint 9.5. But still, a 9 would be... would be prefer... or a 10 would be preferred. Let's see what else is in here. Oh yeah, I've forgotten about this one. The Skyla. The Skyla from Shiny Star V. This also has been picking up a lot, as with many other female Full Art Trainers. Um, this specifically, though, not only in Shiny Star V, but also in Shining Fates, it has gotten... It has gotten a little expensive. I don't know what the current value is in English. I remember it being or sitting at like 5 euros or something like that. Definitely has been picking up. Um, two cards left. So not much left here. Here's the Arizu. One of my favorite characters from Pokemon Legends Arceus. Also in a 10 Dark Phantasma. This actually was, was really, really cheap for a really long time. I don't know if it still is, probably not since Dark Phantasma by now is out of print. So this might pick up um, if it hasn't already. But this is a this is a really nice one. Also also poor, um, bought this on, on eBay. I think I paid like back in the day 70 for a CGC 9.5. And let's see what the last card is. I actually don't remember. 
What is the last card? Oh, it might be Blue's Tactics. Yeah, it is. It is Blue's Tactics. Here we go, at 10. I still need Red's Challenge. I did, however, already send in Brock's Grit to CGC with my big submission. We'll see when that gets back. But here we go. I mean, the cases are still are still the same. Um, really, the only thing they've changed is the label, I'm pretty sure. The spacing and everything is still the same. Yeah, so, so the cases appear to be like one-to-one. -one. It's literally just the labels they've changed. So just look at these side by side. We have a perfect 10, we have a pristine 10. And just, just let me know. Let me zoom in. So look at these three. And just just let me know which one of these you actually like best. I mean, the perfect 10, of course, that's really nice. But just in terms of looks of the labels. Just in terms of the looks of the labels. Honestly, the pristine 10 looks insane, especially with that embossed 10. Maybe I can show that on video. I don't know if you can actually tell on the video, but it's definitely embossed. Like it's raised from the rest of the label, and I think that looks especially nice when compared to the older ones. Um, but anyways, that was my CGC reholder return. Um, I will have another return coming, I don't know when they will get back. Hopefully just as quick as these ones. But I'll keep you updated on Twitter, I suppose. Um, if you enjoyed this video, however, then a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't like it, then by all means give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. And the end card system, of course. Here's a video that YouTube thinks is best for you. And here's the subscribe button. You should click this one first, and you should click this one. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.